I met my husband Davey when I was six and he was eight in Bemidji, Minnesota. Our family remained friends even after we both moved away that summer. I ended up in Japan, completed my bachelor's and master's from Kobe University. Baby Davy was born, a friend joked that when God commanded man to multiply and fill the whole earth, he didn't just mean us alone. Alright, today, well, for two weeks. It's the 21st, weeks, 21st of August. It's 11 months and two weeks. I wish we got the power of his action. Roll over, let's see if you can do something. Yay! Yay! You can do it. Ready? Yeah. The camera mounts, keep it steady with her. Yay! The doctors could not figure out what was wrong with baby Davy, so the best we could do is just cheer him on and try to get his muscles stronger and help him with some therapy. Up, then down, over and over. You could tell he was tired and frustrated, but his siblings really cheered him on.
He would often cry in frustration. And then get right up and look around to see all the smiles and the cheers. And then do it over again. Davy had no head control, no trunk control, no ability to sit nor stand, could not grasp the toys with his hands. As you can see, they're tightly closed. And at this point, all the doctors could say was that he had cerebral palsy and a possible cytomegalovirus, which did not explain very much to us. But until more lab tests come back, we'd have to be satisfied with the fact that he had cerebral palsy. By the time Davy reached six months and still was not reaching any of his milestones, I remembered what my sister Alain said earlier about the Lord telling her that something would be wrong with the baby, but that everything would be fine and that God is in control.